Hello and everyone, welcome everybody, it's me Spuds and here we are back in Hexagiggle, our 16 gigabyte city. Absolutely over the moon with our this come on last week. Yeah. Always something dear to my heart doing it, a gay village. Yeah. I was, I must admit, scratching my head a little bit as to what to do, build this week. Um, and I got a great suggestion off a viewer, um, no mercy, oh, mate, what a suggestion, he, he suggested a Roman bath, and I thought, yeah, yeah, it, 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 it just started popping off in me once he said that, so this is going to be a little bit of a shorter episode, um, we're just going to be a bit more detail-y on just do this kind of corner here, um, so yeah, we're going to use our terraforming tools, dig a big hole in the ground, put some keys around it, bit of a steam generator, have a kind of a rapid cascade of water down into the canal from here, a um, couple of bits of Bob's Roman room, ruins off the uh, workshop, and then we'll wrap a little bit of the old town around as well. Um, and probably start looking at some of the roads and how we connect things and uh, our levels over there. Right, with that, I'll crank the music and I will be back with you in a few moments. It's okay, so we're back, and yeah, I am absolutely over the moon with how this come out. Really, really love it. Absolutely, Bobby Dazzler of a shout there, no mercy. Really, really got my ideas firing away there. So yeah, what do we put in, um, and how do we do it? Basically, dug a big hole in here, added a water source, put a trench down to the canal there. We've lined it with some rocks and what have you. Um, the steam, we've just used a vanilla steam marker and then a couple of bits of Roman ruins off the workshop which we have peeled and just done the minus little touch with. And then we've also kind of carried some of the old town across. So, kind of blends it in that way. Oh yeah, and um, they'd also add a ferry stop here as well, so we're, we'll see ferries going across the front here, which is nice. And uh, I'll quickly show you how I did this with the um, POs. It was on, only fairly simple, mostly with the widgets. There was one little bit of editing, but I'll show you that in a second. There you spray uh, to that. them now 
Now, the majority of it was just it wasn't going to be sized with the widget tool. Simple as you like. And then the other bit that I did, I did the uh, on this one, which was to extract this little bit on its own. And the way I did that was by going into the customization, right click, drag over to highlight the vertices, and then click merge to get rid of them. I would have grabbed those as well, but you can see the idea I've just then created that little wall on its own out of the other thing just to create that piece there. So simple as you like, so not not normally complicated. Right, I just uh, oh yeah, and uh, these water decals. Um, These are great for touching up a, a rapids like this. Now, if you're going to do it, what I recommend doing is like leaving some rocks half in, half out of the water, and only covering like half of the rock with the water decals. If you cover it up completely, you're kind of defeating the object, you know? So, but yeah, creates a great effect. Really, really like that. Yeah. Right. That just leaves me to uh, thank you all for watching and um, remind you to do all that good stuff like comment, subscribe and what have you and uh, I hope you all enjoyed the rest of your day and um, enjoyed the cinematics that I'll set up just now and I'll see you all next week.